Hello there everyone and welcome back to Factorio. It is time to set up our last big system. Namely, we need to get Alien Science up and running as sort of the final. I got Pollution Cleaning Module Research on the go right now just to kill time. So we need to have a factory that makes all of these different colors of uh, science packs. Some of them are going to be easier than others, and we are going to need to set up a alien bait place or something, or at least some way of starting to collect the insane quantity of uh, artifacts we're starting to get at the other bases. But first we need to start making them into something useful. And how we're going to do that is going to be a little complicated. I just have to figure out exactly what it's going to look like. Because there's three steps for each of these. And I think we're going to do it where we actually have room for everything. I was thinking about doing it here in the science area, but... Well, unless I push the wall out to the north... You know, I could do that, actually. Yeah, let's do that. I'm overdue to give myself a little more room here, and we might as well put it right here. Okay. Yeah, it's a logistics network extender, or two, or three, or four. get this ready. Where's, where'd this network thing go? All right. I think I might have overdone the diagonals there, actually, now that I look at it. I'm almost sure of it. Let's get that. Come on, robots. Do your best. Do your awesome. Just need to be careful of what I clear here, because I've got some very important things here supplying... Oops, did I just take out... I took out a bunch of... I took out my Logistics Zone Extender. That was silly of me. Alright. This was really a long overdue tweak to my base. Okay, let's get the Logistics Network expanded properly. Okay, put that right there, that right there. Now then, let's expand it proper like. This just gives us a little more room. For a lot of different projects. Okay. Let's get our defenses reestablished. Thank you robots for being awesome. Actually. Scratch that. I need to actually do this a little differently. I'm going to have to do a more sincere effort ex at expanding here in the near future. Alright, 
Well, now that we've got blue science, we can actually start doing the next tier of... Let's do the shotgun. Uh, let's do our shotgun. Shotgun damage upgrade on its way. Nice. All right, these, these defenses need upgrades anyways. Let's just hope nothing decides to go for an insane attack right now. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it here. Let's see. Diagonal walls, one section. Vertical walls, boom. Boom. Oh, power. There we are. Diagonal. Let's get the last of this in place. Excellent. Okay. Defenses. Here. We won't need too many of them along this axis. Just need enough to make sure nothing untoward happens. Good. Power to there. All right, let's get this show on the road here. We're going to go a little aggressive on the placement here. Because that'll... one... I don't want aliens to be cram ramming through my base. Especially since I'm doing a very aggressive expansion in our base size here. Alright. That should do her. I'm sure we've done a number on a lot of factory systems right now. Awesome. Well, there's our defenses online. The massive stone field here I might need to uh, mine out for materials. But I might just ignore it. Okay, so where were we? Ah yes, uh, alien science. Alien Science is a three-step process. And it would be really nice if I could fit it in one row. So let's start here. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. So, Quester Chest. Quester, um, quester chest. No, hold on, that's not going to work right. Um, we'll figure that out in a minute. Provider chest. Provider chest. So starting at the beginning, we have... We're going to make red artifacts. Oh, wait, it is only two factories. Never mind. What was I thinking? It is only a two-stage process, because we just need to make... red artifacts and red science packs. Passive provider chest in the middle. Requester chest, requester chest. Actually, we'll do it this way. Requester chest. No. Arg. We'll 
let's do it this way. Provider chest only fills when there are less than, let's say we want to keep Red science is when red is less than 30. We're going to keep 30 of each. And then this one will be greater, um, sorry, red is greater than 30. Yikes. We'll see what happens. And you are going to request the little little buggers we'll do it this way all right and this is going to get changed turned this becomes a passive not even a passive provider let's just clear this thing out I even know where some of that stuff's going, but... And yeah, you should be reading, requesting the little red artifacts. Apparently we don't have very many of them. This should be requesting the big red artifacts. Which means this requester chest just has to have All that removed. And then we'll put all this into here. Good, okay. This operates if there are greater than in the network? No. Also greater than 30. I don't even know which one's getting the priority right now, so let's just get another one set up. Okay. Red, orange, yellow, Green, blue, purple. Orange science, yellow science, green science, blue science, purple science. Um, Let's start batteries three. Sure, why not? I'm sure we can find a use for those. Orange, yellow, green, blue. Purple, trying to set up a this one's supposed to be requesting 10. Okay. Oh good, it's uh, it's gonna be sane about this. I made a bit of an error. Oh well. 
We're okay. Blue. Purple. Let's see. So right now they're all triggering off of the uh, number of so we're just going to change the conditions to the appropriate colors. I'm not... What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to prevent the system from burning through all the... Uh, all of the various artifacts. I'm not sure if I'm doing it as well as I would like, though. I think I know what I need to do still. Advanced electronics, sure. All right. So this is only allowed to operate if there's... Let's just turn that off for now. What we need to do now is put them into passive providers. And those are just going to be allowed to operate. Oh, wow. Um, never mind. They're not going to be allowed to just operate. Because apparently it's going to produce a crap ton of them if I'm not careful. Not allowed to operate if there are more than 50. That's for purple. That's for blue. Green. Yellow. Orange. Okay. So if there's more than 50, this should not operate. If uh, red artifacts are less than 40, greater, greater than 40. So it should only operate if there's more than... F okay, we're going to change this to be 10. All right, let's see. This one... Next, solar. This one operates if there's less than 10 in the network. This one operates if there's more than 10 in the network. Yeah. I think I've got this. I think I'm on the right track here. Trying to set things up so they'll wind up in a useful, you know, so that there will always be some. In... No, you know what? That's not going to work. Never mind. Um, because these requester chests are going to screw everything up. Ah, oh, heck. We'll just we'll just work it off of. Um... We'll just have to come and get this stuff manually, unless it really requires a lot of, uh... Um... Let's run into a situation where we're going to need lots and lots of this. So instead, let's operate that when there is... I don't think I need 50 of these in stock. I think I need 10. When it is... Number of those is... Yeah, there's more than 10. Uh, 10. 
We'll get these conditions right, don't you worry. Just now we're burning through some research. Purple. Blue. Yellow. Orange. Now, do we want to have a condition on this? No, you know what? I think we'll be okay. Just let it run. And then we're going to go productivity, speed, two speed, two productivity. Okay. Excellent. Lots will get bonuses of all of these things. Okay. Speed and productivity in both. I don't think we're going to need that much speed, but the productivity will definitely be a nice bonus. Okay. We have 10 of each kind of science pack in the network now, which means we are ready. And just gonna, any future module research can be accelerated dramatically. It means that we are ready to do alien science. Woohoo. So let's start. We'll go with, um, How do we want to start? Shall we get our uh, tier two and three? Um, I don't even know. Get the next tier accumulators. Those require the top tier uh, batteries. We could also research and probably manufacture our next tier energy shields. Wow, it goes up to energy shield four? Crazy. Let's kind of ammo. Flame shells. Explosive shells. Ooh. Some neat ammo. Armor piercing shells and impact shells. Ooh, there's some fun stuff there. Well, let's start with, um, let's go for the uh, personal defense techs. Here we go. What are we missing? Oh. Right, okay, these need to be set to a little bit more uh, so that there's a buffer because it's going to be, from now on, it's going to be operating based off of the uh, amount that's at that storage base. So we want to make sure we have a little extra here for transport. so that the factory can operate. Okay. Okay, that's going... I don't have any idea if product what productivity does in a science lab, but we're just going to leave it there anyways. Okay, so portable fusion reactor. I guess we could do more... We could do a second array of those alien science labs, you know. Got the materials for it. Did I leave? Yeah, maybe we should do just a second batch of those alien science labs, just in case. 
Um, after all, some of this stuff's going to require a lot of extra materials. Blue, orange. Requires more than I currently have of some of these things. This is where our need to farm for these is going to become very important. almost annihilated our entire supply of these, so. And that's enough for two more here, anyways. Okay, that'll get us three labs. Well, that's good. That's good. We get three more labs. We can add a fourth one later. Okay, where are we going to put a second set of labs? Well, we can put them right here, can't we? One, two, three. Quester chest. Power. There we go. And just a bit more in here. Gotta make sure there's enough of these in the network. All right, and let's put these. What happened to those artifacts? They are still in. All right, so we're gonna need a dedicated supply of uh, artifacts now. Leave our leftover labs behind. So it's gonna be time to go and check out some of our bases that are being hit regularly, although, you know, it occurs to me, I haven't seen a lot of uh, attacks recently. wonder why. I hope nothing else has gone wrong. Um, yeah, I might have to reset something else. I have no idea if productivity does anything here, but we're going to put one in just because. All right, now that's got our science flying along nicely. Let's clear a little bit more out. I think we might start getting hit again in the near future. It also could just be we're taking them out so fast that nothing is going wrong. But we need a base that's going to get absolutely mobbed by the fool things. This base is definitely not that base. In fact, we should probably make a, ma a base with some pollution generating modules or something. Okay, but that's going to be all for today's episode, everyone. I think an alien, f an alien artifact farm is going to be next on the agenda. It seems like a sensible plan to me, but we will see in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.